First round. First round. First round. Should I do it? Yeah, go for it. Right, go for it, mate. Give them the mic. Folks, um, this is the first round proper of the quiz. As you said, round one is the picture round, so carry on deliberating. No cheating, no phones uh, for the first round. So the, the, the second round is called Total Football. You'll see on your answer sheets that there are 11 answers and uh, they all relate to, all the answers relate to players that play in positions on the pitch. We've gone for a standard 4-4-2 formation, uh, which is Mike Bassett's favourite. And um, <laughs> as you can see, so basically, answer number one will be uh, a question, the, uh, the answer will be a goalkeeper, answer two will be a right back, answer three a left back, and so on, you kind of get the deal. Um, but there is one other thing, um, you'll see that kind of, uh, there's a little break in the answer sheet. So the first letter of the first name of that player all of those will spell out a football team down the left-hand side. So you won't get a point for getting that football team, but what it will do is give you a clue to the answer to the other question. So if you don't know it, if you suddenly get a football team down the left-hand side, then you're in business and you can maybe have a guess. Does that make sense? Yeah. Perfect. I didn't even have to repeat that. That was amazing. Uh, okay. Cool. All right, question one. This is your goalkeeper, if you're paying attention. In 2006, Petr Cech was substituted off the pitch with a head injury. He was replaced by this goalkeeper, who was later substituted himself with a head injury. I'll, I'll repeat that. I'll repeat that. In 2006, Petr Cech was substituted Easy off the pitch <laughs> with a head injury. He was replaced by this goalkeeper, who was later himself substituted with a head injury. 2006. I'll repeat any at the end of the round as well that you want repeating, so don't worry. Move on. Good pace, I like it. First letter of the first day, not first day. Yeah, yeah. Good question. All right, question two. Question two. This is your right back. Uh, which double barrel surnamed Crystal Palace player is a cheap, fancy football points magnet? Emphasize magnet. I'm, he's saying, he's saying it emphasize. Which double barrel surnamed Crystal Palace player is a cheap, fancy football points magnet? Emphasize it more. Points magnet. <laughs> there you are. Is that emphasizing enough? I just need to do points magnet emphasize. Points magnet. <laughs> this is really good. You know the first letter which is going to spell the football team? Yeah. Is it the first letter of the first, first name, name, not the surname? Yeah. First name. Oh, right, right, right. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question three. Uh, which Brazilian player defied the laws of physics with a free kick against France in Le Tournoi? Uh, like that is, question. which Brazilian player defied the laws of physics with a free kick against France in Le Tournoi? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> standing up for you, Mitchell. Standing up. I'm getting into the evening, Mitchell. We're getting into the swing. I love it, I love it. Don't you, right, you need another question. You need to give another question. Uh, question four. Question four. Um, which Chelsea player re-signed for the club after joining PSG in 2014? That's which Chelsea player re-signed for the club after joining PSG in uh, Question five. Question five. Um, which Spanish player unexpectedly signed for Bolton from Real Madrid after a successful loan period? That's which Spanish player unexpectedly signed for Bolton from Real Madrid after a successful loan period? Shall I, I'm going to, I might have a one to see how we're doing. Don't. Don't. <laughs> nah, don't do that. You just put them under pressure. Yeah. Don't need your beady eye, do they? Get your beady eye. I haven't got beady eyes. All right, question six. Question six, everyone. Which Swedish international also earned his money as an underwear model? That's, which Swedish international also earned his money as an underwear model? <laughs> right, this is, uh, this is the next one. <laughs> oh, right, okay, listen to the next, listen to the next question. Uh, question seven. 
which horrifically disfigured French footballer plays for Bayern Munich? <laughs> <laughs> Question eight. Which French footballer is widely recognised for having a position named after him? That's which French footballer is widely recognised for having a position named after him? Uh, and question nine is rhymes with disco. <laughs> question ten. Oh. Question ten. We're getting down to it now. As quoted in the adverts, which footballer is known for his va va voom? There you are. Oh, they know that. Seb with zest. There you are. No disco. Keep you back no, on track. No, it's the people just went, ah. 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 <laughs> Some confident faces over there. You see Adam looking confident over there. He's looking fairly confident. Look at he? Hewins. Look at yeah. him. <laughs> Ed's looking like Sat he's focused like, yeah. in the corner over there. Uh, okay, final the question of the ringers. round. <laughs> final question of the round. This is 11. This is a, a striker with 11, obviously. We're playing around with numbers here. Uh, this 26-year-old striker has played for Arsenal, Auxerre, Crystal Palace, Charlton, Ajax, and now Toulouse. So, this 26-year-old striker has played for Arsenal, Auxerre, Crystal Palace, Charlton, Ajax, and now Toulouse. Yeah, someone's very happy with themselves over there. Um, so, that's the, the second round. All right then, folks, we've got the next round of the quiz now. All right. Um, so this is round three. There is a team sealy to say. Oh, here's, we'll, repeat, we'll repeat the questions. We'll repeat the questions. We'll repeat. We'll repeat. Yeah, we'll hold off on them. All right. Uh, round three. So this is top five rounds. So basically, there are, there are only two questions. And both, both sets of questions have five answers. And we're looking for the five answers in no particular order. So that's fine. Uh, question one uh, of this round is only five Spanish players have scored 50 or more goals in the Premier League. Name them. So that's only five Spanish players have scored 50 or more goals in the Premier League. Name them. We're not looking for the order of first to fifth, but Just as long as you get the five or any of them, then that's fine. Name the goalkeepers. <laughs> With top five clean sheet records in the Premier League history. So we're looking for five. Top five. Top five. Name the goalkeepers with the top five clean sheet <laughs> records in the Premier League history. There's, there's five. There's there. There's five. So, any yeah. order. Any order you want. Any order you want. Okay, question uh, 1C in round four. Who recently, well, fairly recently, got sent off in a senior five-a-side football tournament for lashing out at Michael Owen. Who recently, recently, last couple months, got sent off in a senior five-a-side football tournament for lashing out at Michael Owen? Lashing out is such a football phrase, isn't it? Lashing out. You, always, you never lash out in, like, anything else, do you? It's like rotting. It's football or the front page rotting. of the Daily Mail. Like rotting in the reserves. It's front You're only page rotting in the reserves in football. <laughs> All right. Um, question uh, 1D in this round. Which Brazilian international claimed he nearly signed for Chelsea but turned them down when he was told he would be expected to turn up for training every day? Which Brazilian international claimed he nearly signed for Chelsea but turned them down when he was told he would be expected to turn up for training every day? Daniel. And then simply, E is what connects your previous four answers. If you've got them all, you're in a good position. If you ain't, have a guess. Why not? Worth a guess. There's no minus points for getting it wrong. The cogs are turning now. You can see them turning in the, in the heads. Turning. In the cogs. The little cogs are turning. There'll be a break after this round so you can carry on thinking about it. <laughs> Think it over. What's that? Flying, we're flying through. Maybe. No, I mean like breakers in. Oh yeah, yeah. But we'll do what the we'll, let's yeah, do the I'm podcast recording time. Yeah, you're doing great. Uh, what I suggest, mate, is you announce the break in the quiz half time, so we do a ten minute break, mm. and then we do one podcast recording. I need to go for a fag. Yeah, and then we can. You, you do the fag after. We don't. Podcast. I don't need ten minutes. Yeah. So we'll you'll, you'll have a fag and then we'll do the podcast. Then you'll have a fag. Yeah. 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 <coughs> break. All right. Is it break after this? Yeah. Uh, okay. So the next set of connections for you now. Um, 
So this is question 2A. Which Argentinian made a shock move to West Ham in 2006 alongside compatriot Javier Mascarano? Which Argentinian made a shock move to West Ham in 2006 alongside compatriot Javier Mascarano? Uh, question two, or question B in this round, 2B. Um, who scored 20 league goals for Chelsea in the 2016-17 season, but was not selected for a single game in the 2017-18 season, despite remaining with the club for the first five months of the season? So I'll repeat that, because it's a bit of a long one. Who scored 20 league goals for Chelsea in the 2016-17 season, but was not selected for a single game in the 17-18 season, despite remaining with the club for the first five months of the campaign. Oh, is this to help me just I like that. backing up? Yeah. Make sure no one sees the answers. Oh, yeah, beautiful. I love that. It makes you look more authoritative as well. It does, it does. I love a, I love a clipboard. Do you know what you look like? A mm. tour guy. A tour guy. <laughs> Around some sort of Ibiza night spot, I reckon. Just got told I look like a tour guy. <laughs> you know the... Uh, yeah, Yes. Premier League goals or yeah, Premier League. Premier League. Premier League. Um, Okey doke. So question two uh, C. Which centre back started his career in France, played for three London-based Premier League clubs before finishing his career in Australia? Which centre back started his career in France, played for three London-based Premier League clubs before finishing his career in Australia? <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> Have a look at that. Yeah, 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 that's it. I don't know you stopped looking at that. You did this answer. I did. You, did, you wrote that question. I did um, write that question. I forgot the answer. All right. Um, 2D now. Uh, which former West Ham French international midfielder was born on the island of Réunion in the Indian Ocean? Which former West Ham French international midfielder was born on the island of Réunion in the Indian Ocean? <laughs> Can you tell me what island? What island again? What island is Réunion. <laughs> and the final question is what connects your previous four answers? The same as before, always same the same. Always, always the same. same. Always the same. Always the same. Always the same. Always the same. And that's... Uh, that's does anyone want any questions from that round repeating? Are there, does anyone want any questions from any round so far repeating before we have a little half-time break in the quiz? Right, this is round... Where round are we on? Five? Five! Five. Four? Five! Five, apparently. Uh, quotes. Right, question number one. So basically, I'm going to tell you a quote. You, the answer is, who said that quote? Yeah? Easy. Easy. You all know. Right. He's going to do it in an accent, doesn't I'm not. Definitely Number one, not. Not. I'm definitely not. Not after last time. Um, <laughs> who said this? I can't wait to get out of it, if I'm honest. I think we'll be far better out of the bloody thing in every aspect, football-wise as well, absolutely, to hell with the rest of the world. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? That should be the note. I'm going to save that. that. Right, everyone ready? <laughs> Start with the room and easy one. Right. Question two. Who said this? Who said that? You can't win anything with kids. <laughs> that was a great year for football, that was. <laughs> what a year that was for football. Right, question three. Who said, I can play in 11 positions because a good player can play anywhere? That is, I can play in 11 positions because a good player can play anywhere. <laughs> Question number four. Does anyone need that again? You all all right? Yeah. <laughs> Who said this? Real Madrid is the most important thing to happen to me, both as a footballer and as a person. 
Real Madrid is the most important thing to happen to me, both as a footballer and a person. Right, number six. No, it's not number five. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on booze, birds, and fast cars. The rest, I just squandered. Is that the quote? <laughs> that is the quote. That's Did not, that's not that? a declaration. Is that you or the quote? No, not anymore. Those days are behind me. I don't have fast cars no more. <laughs> Can we say... There were no women in the picture I quit sex and fast. Yes. Oh, what was that getting through? Let's get it through. Let's go through. Right, okay. Right. Question number six. Who said this? I wouldn't say I was the best manager in the business, but I was in the top one. <laughs> oh, the next so brilliant. <laughs> They're so great ones. All the best ones still to come. Right. Oh, I love this one. This is number seven. Who said this? This is my favourite one, I reckon. For me, pressure is bird flu. I'm feeling a lot of pressure with that swan in Scotland. You are laughing, but I'm serious. I'm more scared of bird flu than I am of football. Oh, the next one's a cracker too. <laughs> I'll repeat that. For me, pressure is bird flu. I'm feeling a lot of pressure with that swan in Scotland. You are laughing, but I am serious. I'm more scared of bird flu than I am of football. Is that you or the quote? I'm not that scared of bird flu. Because you said that before. I did, yeah. I think he said that as well. I can't remember saying that. Right, number eight. Number eight. Who said this? I remember the first time I saw him, he was 13 and just floated over the ground like a cocker spaniel chasing a piece of silver paper in the wind. What? what? <laughs> it's what? That's poetry, isn't it? <laughs> I'll say it again. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw him, he was 13 and he just floated over the ground like a cocker spaniel chasing a piece of silver paper in the wind. Why is he describing him so romantically? <laughs> right, number nine. Number nine. We should give, if anyone gets this one right, this quote. It might, no, you might get a dip in Mitch's bag, though. If, okay, right. Here's the quote. If you get this right, you dip in Mitch's bag. If I play football with my friends back in France... I can love football, but if I come to England, it's for a job. Yes, it's a good job, but it's a job. I don't say I hate football, but it's not my passion. I'll repeat it again. I was just about to. If I play football with my friends back in France, I can love football. But if I come to England, it's for a job. It's a good job, but it's a job. I don't say I hate football. It's not my passion. A little bit of an accent creep in it. No? Right, number 10, final one. Who said it was just banter? <laughs> right, does anyone need any of those repeating? <laughs> Depends on which side of the argument you're on. Oh. <laughs> yes. Bird flu again, I can, because that is the most... What is, this is perfect, this. For me, pressure is bird flu. I'm feeling a lot of pressure with that swan in Scotland. You're laughing, but I'm serious. I'm more scared of bird flu than I am of football. This is round six. It's the... Uh, Ramble round, it's still called the ramble round. We, we're okay with that one. It's a ramble round. There's bonus points for off on this one. Um, which current championship manager scared off three burglars by putting his finger in the pin of a live hand grenade and threatened to put it out? Which current championship manager scared off three burglars by putting his finger in the pin of a live hand grenade and threatened to put it out? It's very specific. That's my question as well. I like that one. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> yes, 
Uh, what are we doing after the future? After this, yeah. When you're talking to the mic, don't have it too close to this feedback. Yeah. Are we doing the future after this? Uh, yeah. And then we'll do the raffle. Uh, question two. Question two. Uh, how many managers have won the Premier League? Uh, that's how many managers have won the Premier League, and we're looking for different managers. So if they won it more than once, that doesn't count as more than one. Only one. Does that make sense? So look for how many different managers have won the Premier League. Um, we got a break when we're doing the add-ups there as well, and the raffle. Yeah. We can have a, we could have a bit of a break tonight. Okay. Right. Back to the raffle. I can do the raffle actually. Um, okay. Question three. Question three, and there's a bonus point in this one. So question three is, what is the first name of Mr. Bosman? who took a team to court for restraint of trade, won and thereby changed the nature of football transfers forever. So what is the first name of Mr. Bosman, who took a team to court for restraint of trade, won and thereby changed the nature of football transfers forever. And for a bonus point, name either side whom he moved from or to. You don't need to get both, but if you want to show off, you know. Um, name either side he moved from or to for a bonus point. Mitch is very good. I'm just taking a live moment while we're yeah. reading questions in, in the quiz. We're just going to put this in yeah, as a little yeah. segment this week, Mitch. Oh, come on, yeah, do it. Yeah. that just because I'm just watching you. You're in your I'm in my element. You're in my element. You're in my element. I know. Question four. Getting into it now. Uh, question four is name the only Premier League club in history whose name ended with a G. Name the only Premier League club in history whose name ended with a G. That's you like that one? Question. I like that question. Is it technically correct? I hope so. No, we're not. Yeah. What do we do? Oh, At the do we? end of this round. That question was... Five. Five. Oh, no, uh, four, sorry, four. four. Question four, that was question four. Uh, question five. Question five. Only two players have scored in the Manchester Derby and the Merseyside Derby in the same calendar year. Name those two players. Only two players have scored in the Manchester Derby and the Merseyside Derby in the same calendar year. Name those two players. Point for each. I was pissing myself at the Pogba thing. Everyone was wetting themselves at the Pogba video because I was pointing to it and going, watch this, and everyone was pissing themselves at the back. Uh, yeah. Question six. Question six. What was the name of the Sutton United goalkeeping coach fine for eating a pie during his size FA Cup tie against Arsenal? What was the name of the Sutton United goalkeeping coach fined for eating a pie during his size FA Cup tie against Arsenal? No bonus points if you get the name of the pie, but, you know, if you want to put it. You won't get a point. Just the name. Is it a Welsh pie? It's what not sort a Welsh pie. What is it? Do you know? It, was, um, it wasn't a chicken bake from Greg's. It wasn't a chicken bake from Greg's. Next question. Eh? Next question. Question seven. Which player scored his 100th Premier League goal in the year 2000 while also scoring his 50th penalty? Which player scored his 100th Premier League goal in the year 2000 whilst also scoring his, his 50th penalty? Same goal, wasn't it? What are you saying? Same goal. Yeah. 150. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, I know. Both, the, I'd like either one of those records. Burkina Faso. <laughs> 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 Oh no. Don't remember not to say. Who is it? Because that, that gives it away, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so you've got to do that. Yeah. Name one of them. Name, yeah. name no, one of no, them. No, 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 you've got to no. leave it in. We'll say that after that. What do I say? They don't say it now, yes? When yeah. we're doing the answer. At the end of, um, when we give the answers out, oh. we then throw it out and say, but can anyone name one can't, we've all, I've already added up the things to 64. You're going to have to say, what? name one of them. I can't, it's yeah. fast enough. When you get to the end, yeah. yeah? 
No. Oh, just, yeah. Can you name it? Write one down. Yeah, if you know, yeah. Is it a word? Yeah, is it yeah, yeah. yeah. Name, say it, write it down. Okay, question. Question eight. Question eight. Question eight. How many players for, from Burkina Faso have played in the Premier League? That's how many players from Burkina Faso have played in the Premier League. And for a bonus point, write one on your sheet. Uh, question nine, which Zambian-born striker is the only player to have scored hat-tricks in the Premier League, Divisions 1, 2 and 3, FA Cup, League Cup and internationally? Uh, which Zambian-born striker is the only player to have scored hat-tricks in the Premier League, Divisions 1, 2 and 3, FA Cup, League Cup and internationally? And it's not Luke. Not me. Not you. Nine. Nine. <coughs> oh, I need to write them down. Jimmy, you know, Jimmy Floyd. <laughs> yeah, hmm? Okay. No. All right, and the last question of the round no. is who scored the first perfect hat trick in the Premier League? Who scored the first perfect hat trick in the Premier League? Does everyone know what perfect hat trick is? It depends. Ah, there we are. What's a Bolivian perfect hat trick? Uh, <laughs> no, that's not. It's, 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 the Bolivian one's the same as the normal one, but uh, you know the one from uh, Italy. Isn't it? It's one in one in the heart, one in each half, and the last one of the game is maybe somewhere, Italy. Somewhere Italy. Italy. Hat, you have to score the first goal, the last goal, and what in either half? I think um, it's Italy. That's only two goals. One in one half, one in the other, and the last goal of the game. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's who scored the first perfect hat trick in the Premier League. Uh, does anyone want any questions from that round repeating? Yeah, go on. Number three, yeah. What is the first name of Mr. Bosman, who took a team to court for restraint of trade, won, and thereby changed the nature of football transfers forever? And for a bonus point, name either side he moved from or to. Uh, any other questions repeating from this round? No, all good. Does anyone want any questions from any of the other previous rounds repeating? Just uh, your question number five. Of this round, just gone. Yeah. yeah. Well, both of the players, is it, was it the same calendar year they had or separate calendar years? But when they scored, obviously, for the teams, it was in the same calendar year. Yeah, it was the same calendar year. Question two. Uh, how many managers have won the Premier League? Uh, that's how many managers have won the Premier League. And we're looking for different managers, so if they won it more than once, that doesn't count as more than one. Question three, and there's a bonus point in this one, so question three is, what is the first name of Mr. Bosman, who took a team to court for restraint of trade, won and thereby changed the nature of football transfers forever? So what is the first name of Mr. Bosman, who took a team to court for restraint of trade, won and thereby changed the nature of football transfers forever? And for a bonus point, Name either side whom he moved from or to. You don't need to get both, but if you want to show off, you know. Um, name either side he moved from or to for a bonus point. Getting into it now. Uh, question four is name the only Premier League club in history whose name ended with a G. Name the only Premier League club in history whose name ended with a G. Do you like that one? Is it technically correct? I hope so. What do we do? Oh, what do we end with this round? That question was? Five. Five. Oh, no, uh, four, sorry, four. Question four, that was question four. Uh, question five, question five, only two players have scored in the Manchester Derby and the Merseyside Derby in the same calendar year. Name those two players. Only two players have scored in the Manchester Derby and the Merseyside Derby in the same calendar year. Name those two players, point for each. Uh, yeah. Question six, 
Question six. What was the name of the Sutton United goalkeeping coach fine for eating a pie during his size FA Cup tie against Arsenal? What was the name of the Sutton United goalkeeping coach fined for eating a pie during his size FA Cup tie against Arsenal? No bonus points if you get the name of the pie, but, you know, if you want to put it, you won't get a point. Just the name. Is it a Welsh pie? It's what not a Welsh pie. What sort of pie is he? Do we know? It, was, um, it wasn't a chicken bake from Greg's. Okay. It wasn't a chicken bake from Greg's. Next question. Next question. Really? Question seven. Which player scored his 100th Premier League goal in the year 2000 while also scoring his 50th penalty? Which player scored his 100th Premier League goal in the year 2000 whilst also scoring his, his 50th penalty? Okay, question, question eight, question eight. Question eight, how many players for, from Burkina Faso have played in the Premier League. That's how many players from Burkina Faso have played in the Premier League. And for a bonus point, write one on your sheet. Uh, question nine. Which Zambian-born striker is the only player to have scored hat-tricks in the Premier League, Divisions 1, 2 and 3, FA Cup, League Cup and internationally? Uh, which Zambian-born striker is the only player to have scored hat-tricks in the Premier League, Divisions 1, 2 and 3, FA Cup, League Cup and internationally? And it's not Luke. Not me. Not you. Nine. 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 <coughs> Oh, I need to write them down. Jimmy, you know, Jimmy Floyd. <laughs> okay. All right, and the last question of the round is who scored the first perfect hat trick in the Premier League? Who scored the first perfect hat trick in the Premier League? Does everyone know what a perfect hat trick is? It depends. Ah, there we are. What's a Bolivian perfect hat trick? No, that's not. It's, 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 the Bolivian one's the same as the normal one, but uh, you know the one from uh, Italy. Yeah. It's one in one in the heart, one in the chart, and the last one of the game is somewhere, maybe Italy. Somewhere Italy. 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 You have to score the first goal, the last goal, and what in either half. I think um, it's Italy. That's only two goals. One in the one half, one in the other, and the last goal of the game. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that's who scored the first perfect hat trick in the Premier League. So, um, picture number one was John Robertson. Two, Leo Fortune West. Three, Andy Legg. Four was Jeremy. Five was Jovino. Six was Nalberto Solano. Seven was Dino Baggio. Number eight was David Bust or David Bust, Bust Leg. We'll accept either. Um, number nine was Tori Andrew Flo, and number ten was Gunnosaurus. Right. Round number two. Do you want to read the round number two? Yeah, go on, then I'll do round two. All right, yeah. Want to read the question? Read the question. Yeah. Right, round two. <laughs> read yes, read was total football. Number one, your goalkeeper. In 2006, Petr Cech was substituted off the pitch with a head injury. He was replaced by his this goalkeeper who was later substituted with a head injury himself. The answer was Carlo Cudicini. Number two, right back. Which double barrel surnamed Crystal Palace player is a cheap fantasy football points magnet? Aaron Wambazaka. Left back. Which Brazilian player defied the laws of physics with, fr with a free kick against France in Le Tournoi? Was Roberto Carlos. Centre back. Which Chelsea player re-signed for the club after joining PSG in 2014? Was David Luiz or Louis? You're confusing me, Mitchell. Just, just, just go with right. Four, four, two. Centre back. Which Spanish player unexpectedly signed for Bolton from Real Madrid after a successful loan period was Ivan Campo? 
Uh, right midfield, which Swedish international, also in as many as an underwear model, was Freddy Jungberg. <laughs> which horrifically disfigured French footballer <laughs> plays for Bayern Munich was Frank Ribéry. That's harsh. <laughs> it's, no, he's not a nice man. <laughs> right. Uh, Centre mid, which French footballer is widely recognised for having a position named after him? Claude Makélélé. The Makélélé role. <laughs> Later perfected by Busquets. <laughs> George Mendeson. Right, ne next centre midfield. Rhymes with disco. Is Isco. <laughs> Just take the D off this go, man. Yeah. It's in the name. It's in the name. It's just a D. Right. <laughs> As quoted in the adverts, which footballer is known for his va-va-voom, Thierry Omri? I think everyone knew that, yeah. Right. Number 11, striker. This 26-year-old striker has played for Arsenal, Auxerre, Crystal Palace, Charlton, Ajax, and now Toulouse with Yaya Sonogo. Championship manager, legend. Can you do them top five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Next round was round three, top five. The question, uh, only five Spanish players have scored 50 or more goals. I want to see who gets these. Name them. Can you? So it's the f top five, in no particular order, Spanish players who've scored 50 or more goals in the Premier League. Name them. We've got one Fernando Torres. We've got one David Silva. We've got Diego Costa. Diego Costa. The forgotten man of the Premier League. <laughs> uh, we've Legend. also what got a scorer. Cesc Fabregas. Yep. Got that. And then... Juan Mata. <laughs> there you go. Juan Mata. Uh, Juan Mata. <laughs> what? See, I'm a Man United fan, but I love Liverpool. <laughs> Which is weird. So, the next top five. The goalkeeper situation. So, name the goalkeepers with the top five clean sheet record in the Premier League history in no particular order. No, it's no, no particular order. order. That, that same as before. Yeah. There's no order, is yeah. there? We can do it. It's always the yeah. same. Pacek. First one. Pacek. David James. <laughs> Next that is one David James. Mark Schwarzer. No. Cheeky. Yeah. This. This. Schwarzer. There you go. David Seaman. It's, um, this is the hardest one. This one, if you've got this, I'll just do this. Like, well done. Oh, All right, yeah. you're gonna have a player from the Mitch's bag. <laughs> if you got this one, Nigel Martin. Oh, Boom! Oh, Boom! Oh, anyone? 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 No one? Get Nigel no one? No one? No one? No one? No one? Oh, did anyone? Ne you nearly got him. Yeah, did you say it? No, it's not good enough. You don't get a point. You don't get. You do not get in Mitch's bag like that. No. <laughs> no, you do not. Get in the, yeah. the bag. I can't get in it. <laughs> uh, round four is a connections round. All right, all right, all right. All right. Round four is a connections round. Which footballer was famed for wearing protective eye? Oh, was there? No, was it? Petr Cech, David James, Mark Schwarzer, David Seaman, Nigel Mai. Point for each. That was the order they got the clean sheets in, but you can get it in any order. Yeah, it doesn't matter about the order, yeah. All right. All right, round four connections. Which footballer was famed for wearing protective eyewear throughout his career? It's Edgar Davids. Who scored the last FA Cup semi-final replay goal, which was against Arsenal's Ryan Giggs? Who, fairly recently, got sent off in a senior five-a-side football tournament for lashing out at Michael Owen? It was Jason McAteer. Which Brazilian international claimed he nearly signed for Chelsea but turned him down when he was told he would be expected to turn up for training every day? It was Ronaldinho. And what connects your answers? Anyone think they got it? Go on, Matty. 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 Go on, Matty.
Fucking great. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Boom. They've all appeared on UK cover editions of FIFA. That is bloody brilliant, one of them. That's, that's um, do you, Does anyone remember, anyone know which Cardiff City legend was on the cover of FIFA? Do you? Ed? Andy Leg. Oh, Andy Leg. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Leg was on the cover he's, he's, of FIFA. He's sort of tend in there, but you know you can. Matt, yeah, yeah. in the bag. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you want to take, take the bag over? Take the bag over. Mitch has got an extendable take bag tonight. Take the bag over. Send it over. I say Cardiff City legend. I should say Swansea as well. Who you got? Um, Platt. You got David Platt. Platt. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next uh, connections. Which Argentinian made a shot move to West Ham in 20, uh, 2006 alongside compatriot Javier Mascar and his Carlos Tevez? Uh, who scored 20 league goals for Chelsea in the 2016-17 season but was not selected for a single game in the 17-18 season despite remaining in the club for the first five months of the campaign? Diego Costa. Uh, which centre-back started his career in France, played for three London-based Premier League clubs before finishing his career in Australia? It's William Gallas. Which former West Ham French international midfielder was born on the island of Réunion in the Indian Ocean? It was Dimitri Payet. Uh, connection, anyone? Yeah, all went on strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All went on strike. Well then. No, absolutely not. Scratching the seat. Absolutely not. They went AWOL. Well done to everyone who got that one. How many of you got that they went AWOL? Two? Two, yeah, got oh, three, four, four. Brilliant, four. okay. Um, fantastic, that was a good one. What's the um, quotes. Oh, oh, you can read that. Do you want to do quotes? Yeah, I want to do quotes. All right, quotes. Right. Round five. Hmm? Yeah, the boss was at, uh, the last one. the last one. Right, round five, quotes. Right, question one. In I'm reading quotes. an accent. So who said, I'm not reading an accent. Oh. Who said, who said, I can't wait to get out of it? If I'm honest, no. I think we'll be far better out of the bloody thing in every aspect, football-wise as well. Absolutely, to hell with the rest of the world. Who said that? Neil Warnock. Uh, who said you can't win anything with kids? <laughs> Alan Hansen. Uh, I can play in 11 positions because a good player can play anywhere. Who said that? Anyone? Zlatan. Zlatan. Uh, who said Real Madrid is the most important thing to happen to me, both as a footballer and a person? Zidane. We wrote this quiz months and a half ago, I reckon. <laughs> and it, when he came back as Real Madrid manager, I was like, oh, that question is beautiful now. <laughs> um, I spent a lot of money on booze, beers, and fast cars. The rest I just squandered. Yeah, Mitchell Gad. Yeah. <laughs> George Best, yeah. Uh, who said I wouldn't say I was the best manager in the business, but I was in the top one? Cleffy, best manager in the world ever. Fact. <laughs> right, who said, one of my favourite questions. Right, who said, for me, pressure is bird flu. I'm feeling a lot of pressure with that swan in Scotland. You are laughing, but I am serious. I'm more scared of bird flu than I am of football. Who said that? Anyone? Jose Marino. Who said, I remember the first time I saw... This is as close to poetry as we got tonight, I reckon. I remember the first time I saw him, he was 13 and just floated over the ground like a cocker spaniel chasing a piece of silver paper in the wind. Who said that? <laughs> Sir Alex Ferguson. <laughs> about Ryan Giggs. How does Ryan Giggs look like a cocker spaniel? <laughs> <laughs> chasing a piece of silver paper in the wind. <laughs> Why is it relevant that it's silver? <laughs> Ryan Giggs. <laughs> Do I? No, no, no. no. Forget it. Okay, <laughs> right. Who said? And I said, someone, you can get a dip in Mitch's bag here if you get this. If I play football with my friends back in France, I can love football, but if I come to England, it's for a job. Yes, it's a good job, but it is a job. I don't say I hate football, but it's not my passion. Who said that? Asher 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 no. Right, who said last one? It was just banter. Uh, Alex Skinner. Yeah, Rich Keats. Last 
wait for him to come back. All right, last round, last round. Ramble round. Um, which current championship manager scared off three burglars by putting his finger in the pin of a live hand grenade and threatened to put it out? It was Marcelo Bielsa. You could have guessed on it. How many different managers have won the Premier League? It was ten. Ten. Name a mix. I'm not naming them. <laughs> Everyone's standing. No, I'm joking. Um, what is the first name of Mr. Bosman who took a team to court for restraint of trade? One and thereby changed the nature of football transfers forever. It was Jean Marc. Who got that? Anyone got that? Who got that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give him a good one. And uh, for a bonus point, you can name either side he moved to or from. It was RFC Liège or Dunkirk. If you got any of those. Yeah, you got it. Uh, name the only Premier League club in history whose name ends with a G. It was Reading. Reading, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. What do you want? Four? Which one do you want? Three or four? What are you? Two. Uh, yeah, Reading, you're right. <laughs> well then. Um, only two players. Did you get the Bosman bonus clubs? Yeah. Okay. Uh, only two players have scored in the Manchester Derby and the Merseyside Derby in the same calendar year. Name those two players. It was Andre Konchalskis and Nicholas Anelka. Point for each. Uh, what was the name of the Sutton United goalkeeping coach fine for eating a pie during a side FA Cup tie against Arsenal? Wayne Shaw. Wayne Shaw, yes. Wayne Shaw. Uh, excellent work. Uh, which player scored his 100th Premier League goal in the year 2000 whilst also scoring his 50th penalty? It's Matthew Letizier. Uh We're getting towards the end now. How many players from Burkina Faso have played in the Premier League? Anyone? Two. Mm, no. One. Go on. Who was it? Bertrand Traore and Jonathan Petroito, right? Don't know if he's, if he's a... Burkina Faso International. No, that was, taken, that was taken off the registered FIFA list. Yeah. One. Bertrand Troy. So don't blame, blame FIFA, is what I'm saying. Is it? Which Zambian Bosch striker is the only player to score hatches in the Premier League Division 1, 2, 3 FA Cup League Cup International? It's Robert Earnshaw. And who scored the first perfect hatchet in the Premier League? Anyone want to guess? No one? James Phillips? Uh, no, no, it's not. Uh, it was uh, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. So quite, quite a late one, I guess. So I just said homeless people are individuals with different needs. When you open the kitchen cupboards of the Wallach residences up and down the country, you'll find football mugs supporting Cardiff to Crystal Palace, Ballard to Bournemouth. Although each person has a different story and a different team, they are treated with respect and the support that suits them. So thanks very much, everyone. I think you deserve a round of applause.